in an emetropic eye if object is at 6 meter or infinity then the light rays coming from that object focus in the retina but if the object is brought closer than 6 meter our eyes needs more converging power to focus on the retina accommodation is the mechanism through which our eyes increase the converging power to focus on the retina when object is closer than 6 meters so accommodation is the mechanism by which the eye changes refractive power by altering the shape of the lens in order to focus objects at variable distance at rest the radius of curvature of anterior surface of lens is 10 mm and that of posterior surface is 6 mm during accommodation the curvature of posterior surface remains almost the same but radius of anterior surface changes to 6 mm now let's see what are the components of accommodation far point Far point is a position of an object when its image clearly falls on retina with no accommodation. 6 meter to infinity is considered as far point. Near point of accommodation. The nearest point clearly seen with maximum accommodation is called near point. The near point of accommodation varies with the age. Range of accommodation. The distance between the far point and near point is called the range of accommodation. Now amplitude of accommodation. The difference between the dioptric power needed to focus at near point P and the far point R is called amplitude of accommodation. The formula is A is equal to P minus R. Here A is equal to amplitude of accommodation, P is equal to accommodation at near point R is equal to accommodation at far point. In a specific distance, amplitude of accommodation can be identified by using the formula 100 divided by D. Here D is equal to distance in centimeter. Let's understand this with an example. If we want to identify amplitude of accommodation at 40 centimeter, then according to formula, the amplitude of accommodation should be 100 divided by 40 or 2.5 diopter. Mechanism of accommodation. According to born Helmholtz theory, when the eye is at rest, the ciliary ring is large and keeps the zonal tense, due to which the lens is kept compressed or flat by the capsule. Contraction of ciliary muscles causes the ciliary ring to shorten and thus releases zonular tension on the lens capsule. This allows the elastic capsule to deform the lens substances ultimately changes the shape of the lens. The lens then alters its shape to become more convex. Types of accommodation 1. Tonic accommodation It is due to tonus of ciliary muscles and is active in absence of the stimulus. The resting state of accommodation is not at infinity but rather at an intermediate distance. 2. Proximal accommodation. It's induced by the awareness of the nearness of a target. This is independent of actual dioptric stimulus. 3. Reflex accommodation. It's an automatic adjustment response to blur which is made to maintain a clear and sharp retinal image. 4. Convergence Accommodation Amount of accommodation stimulated or relaxed associated with convergence. The link between accommodation and convergence is known as accommodative convergence and is expressed clinically as AC by A ratio. Stimulus and Response of Accommodation Stimulus of Accommodation Blur image apparent size and distance of object, chromatic aberrations, scanning movements of eyes, reaction time of accommodation. It refers to the time between the presentation of accommodative stimulus and occurrence of accommodative response. Reaction time of accommodation from far to near is 0.64 seconds, 
and from near to far 0.56 seconds. Pathway of Accommodation Efferent Pathway Efferent Pathway means traveling of stimulus towards the brain. When accommodative stimulus reaches to retina, the stimulus travel through the visual pathway and reaches to primary visual cortex in the brain. Efferent Pathway Efferent pathway is a traveling of signals from the brain towards the organ. From the parasympathetic oculomotor nuclei, the signal sends to oculomotor nerve, that is third nerve. Then from the third nerve, signal reaches to ciliary ganglion. Then from the ciliary ganglion, the signals reach to short ciliary nerve. And from the short ciliary nerve, the signal reaches to splinter pupillae and ciliary muscles. When signal reached to ciliary muscles, ciliary muscles contract due to which Johnny will get relaxed and lens accommodate. Now anomalies of accommodation. Anomalies of accommodation can be of two types. In one type accommodative response is more than accommodative stimulus and in other type accommodative response is less than the accommodative stimulus. Diminished accommodation Insufficiency of accommodation, ill sustained accommodation, inertia of accommodation, paralysis of accommodation. In this type of anomalies of accommodation, the accommodative response is less than the accommodative stimulus. Increased accommodation, excessive accommodation, spasm of accommodation. In this type of anomalies of accommodation, the accommodative response is more than the accommodative stimulus. A complete course on accommodation along with its anomalies are available in our official app Optometry Notes and MCQ. You can enroll this course and get all the materials. Stay with Smart Optometry and Study Optometry.